this is the most important question in the chapter of moving charges and magnetism and it was given for four marks question children and this is the most important question and it was repeated so many times in so many examinations that's why how to watch the video to last and the problem should be like this a current of 10 amperes passes through the two long wires held parallel to each other and separated by a distance of 1 meter what is the force per unit length between them so here what was given there are two parallel conductors are there how much current is passing that one this is i am saying first conductor and this is the second conductor here this is the current is i1 and this is the current is i2 i1 amount of current is passing through the first conductor and i2 amount of current is passing through the second conductor and these two parallel conductors are separated by distance of r now given that what was given given that i1 is 10 amperes and i2 also 10 amperes and distance of separation distance of separation that should be how much r is equal to how much given 1 meter then what you will find out what you will find out force per length force per length we have to find out now that is the given problem children when two long straight parallel conductors are having same currents and they should be separated by some distance then the force acting between them is here mu naught i1 i2 into l by 2 pi r this is the force acting between the two conductors because of one to another so here from the power rate f by l is equal to mu naught i1 i2 by 2 pi r so this is the formula we are going to use now here f by l is equal to mu naught i1 i2 by 2 pi r substitute here f by l is equal to here mu naught means what 4 pi into 10 power of minus 7 and i1 is what 10 amperes i2 also 10 amperes and 2 pi into r means what this is the 1 then what you get f by l is equal to here 2 pi 1 is 2 is 2 into 10 power of minus 7 into 10 into 10 10 square then what you get here 2 into 10 power of minus 7 plus 2 then what you get f by l is equal to here 2 into 10 power of minus 5 newton per meter newton per meter so if you can take your